Visa Yab Migration Services, managed by Dr. Siros Ahmadi, invite you to watch the community TV show. is a big part of Persian culture and it brings friends and families together. And today we're joined by Fatty Boars and Mandan who run a Persian catering company in New Zealand. So let's have a chat with them and they will share with us amazing stories and amazing recipes. Mandan, Fatty Boars, how are Hi. you today? Hello, Good, thank you. you. Good, thank you. I'm doing great, thank you. Um, it's great to have you here. Thank I just you. wanted to ask you first, uh, when did you decide to move to New Zealand um, and how long ago did you make that decision? Uh, well, I came here like around 30 years ago, but Mandan came uh, 10 years ago and um, we started to open a uh, homemade Persian catering together. And uh, since then has been going very well and we've been actually uh, by Iranian community been supported and other people. So yeah, wow. so far so good. That's great. And the Persian catering company that you do is called Sepahan and yes. you do catering for events as well? Yes, uh, for weddings, birthday or capacity up to 150, 200 people. Wow, capacity. That's amazing. And uh, everyone says, you know, there's a debate going on between what's the <laughs> best, most popular Persian food from uh, stews to rice dishes. But what do you think uh, is the most popular Persian dish? Well, I would say kebab because the name of the kebab is an international name for the beautiful, delicious food. And I would, I would say uh, we provide the very traditional Iranian kebab. As you see, Mandan is going to do the mince, lamb mince and the chicken mince and chunks. Wow. So uh, kebab would be the first option for people who want to really try Iranian food. That's good. Um, so you do a lot of other Persian... Uh... Yes, we do lots of uh, uh, vegetarians and uh, meat stews as well. Very traditional That's one. great. Yes. And people can order it through your website? Yes, we have a uh, actually weekly menu and they can order it for the weekend in a number of orders if they like. That is great. That is great. And I'm really excited because you're going to share with us some Persian recipes today, yes. especially the traditional Persian kebab, right? Sure. Amazing. And so we have different, so we're going to do a chicken one, we're going to do a uh, mince one, and the traditional beef. Uh, beef. Yes. Amazing. I cannot wait. Should we do it? Sure, of course. Go ahead. The one that Mandan is doing is a chicken pieces that has been marinated night before yeah. in some uh, secret sauce of course mm. seasoning and now is ready to be skewed and uh, barbecue on a charcoal barbecue wow that's great so before we get into the other types of kebabs that we're going to try and cook today i just noticed what's this this is saffron actually you find it dry in a pack coming from Iran is very traditional and we use it to give the texture, color and taste to Iranian food, stews and kebab especially. Wow, and I believe that uh, people say that saffron is the, the second gold or something because it's really, really yes, expensive, right? Yes, it is. It is. Yeah. It's very hard to grow, take out and actually turn it to this uh, gold liquid. Exactly, you cannot do it everywhere in the world. There are certain types of places that you can. Yes, I would say the Persian one is the real and the most original one. Exactly. This is minced kebab, which is made by fresh lamb meat mixed with uh, grated onion, salt and pepper, which Mandan is putting it on its skewer. Actually, this is a skill. 
to put that kind of meat on a skewer and then you cook it, it doesn't fall. Really? Yes. See, it looks easy, but I feel like it's yes. really, really hard well, to actually achieve. Mandan does, has done it for thousands of times, so she knows exactly what to do and she's very fast as well. Wow, amazing. Now, the meat being put on a skewer and is ready to cook, already let some charcoal, so should we cook it? Let's go, let's do it. Let's do I'm it. excited. First, I'm gonna cook some lamb pieces for you. Amazing. The chicken pieces, and then we start the mince. When the fire is very nice and warm, I really use the heat for the chunky meat. Yeah. This is chicken mince. You have to be very careful because you have to turn it over regularly. The it changes the color. Yes. But every time it changes the color, it means you have to turn it over of because course. it shrinks when it yeah. sees the fire. And you have to be careful that the kebab doesn't fall onto. Exactly. Yeah. That's why you have to be very patient when you cook the kebab. This is the steamed white rice, which has been topped by saffron, and you can have it with the kebab and Iranian traditional pickles, oh. been made by vegetables. So these are just vegetable pickles here, yes. and you have it with your food, yes. you put it on the yes. side? Yes, all of them, different tastes, and everybody can choose whatever taste they like, with garlic, onion, or just pure vegetables. Wow. Or instead, you can have it with natural yogurt. That would be a very nice side dish for the kebab. Wow, that's amazing. I really can't wait to dig in. Sure. Give you a place so you can try a bit of every kebab Thank that you. you. So before I dig in, I like to familiarize myself um, with the kebabs again. So this one is the chicken. Yes. And this one is the lamb pieces. So let's try it with this chicken because we're gonna have a selection here, and we're gonna take the lamb as well, and you serve this I'll with rice, rice as well. Wow, that looks amazing. So we're gonna start with the lamb kebab first because yes. it just looks really, really nice. Please. And. I am speechless. <laughs> I am lost for words. Good on you. This is amazing. And the viewers at home, they can't taste it, but I'm sure they will want to try it whenever they can because this is just beautiful. Of course. So of course, uh, we have to try the traditional Persian minced kebab, right? Yes, this is wow. the mother of all kebabs. Mother of all kebabs. Let's have a try. Mm. So what do you think? I'm very speechless. You can really taste the onions. It's really tender, it's not dry at all. And uh, it just, it's a really nice flavor. It's so intricate and so simple at the same time. Perfect, so this is the barbecued tomato. Yes. And this one is the chicken. And the lamb. And underneath we have some saffron and white rice, which yes. is steamed. Indeed, yes. That's nice. And did you say we have uh, three different types of uh, veggie pickles? Did yes, you say? yes, homemade pickles. Homemade are amazing. I can't design a plate, but because you are you have a catering company, I'm sure you can design a better plate than what I just did. So where can people order this amazing Persian cuisine? They can simply find us on Instagram, Facebook, or they can Google us. I will definitely Google you myself, because I'll be ordering you from every day from now on. And thank you guys so much for joining me and just showing me and the viewers at home how to make this Persian cuisine. Um, do you have any other advice you'd like to share with No, thank you very much for supporting us, and thank you to NZ Persian community and Australia TV too. That's amazing, thank you very much. And don't go anywhere because next time we're gonna be sharing with you some more amazing Persian arts, culture, and more. So stay tuned to find out more. Caspian Store is providing a range of Persian products to you. From sweet candies, dates, nuggets, 
or tahini halva, to ready meals, Persian food conserves, vegetable pickles, olives, rose water, and fruit jams. You will find it all in our shop. Would you like to try the charum rice with Persian saffron or special spices? Dehydrated herbs and fruits for a delicious cuisine? Or just try our fresh dairy products? Then what are you waiting for? We welcome you to visit Caspian, your Persian shop in New Zealand. Where would you like to live? Where is your second home? How far would you care to follow your dreams? Visayab will help you obtain visas for Australia, New Zealand, Europe and Canada. We will also support you with company registration, business investment, job offers and settlement services. We will show you the optimal path. We will walk every inch of the way with you. Choice, not chance, makes destiny.